Would you like to visualize your application network so as to understand the current state of your architecture and ensure best practices are being followed? Are you looking for a real-time view to see how your API is evolving so as to plan to unlock your data and break down siloed systems? Are you looking for means to resolve production issues faster and capture the behavior and dependencies of your API in a single pane of glass? Hello everyone, my name is Lakshmi Narayan and I'm a customer success technical consultant at MuleSoft. And today, I'm going to be talking to you about how AnyPoint Visualizer provides you a real-time graphical representation of your APIs in Mule application and addresses various use cases with respect to architecture, troubleshooting, and policy compliance. Let's get into it. AnyPoint Visualizer has three visualizations. They are architecture, troubleshooting, and policies. The architecture visualization shows us the topology of our application network. We can use this visualization to understand the current state architecture of our application network and promote reuse of existing APIs when planning for new projects. We can also ensure that we are implementing API-led connectivity and eliminate any point-to-point -point connections in our current architecture. We can view information about a specific service, such as the organization and the environment it belongs to, and make customizations to the nodes. We can assign the nodes to various layers, for example, experience, process, or system layer, and also add tags to categorize them based on our needs. We can also understand the dependence and dependencies of a specific API and perform impact analysis as we plan for new projects. For example, if you change the system API, you know that these process and experience APIs are impacted. We can also share our network's architecture and present it to our various stakeholders. Please note, you would need the Visualizer Editor permission in Access Management to perform the customizations. We can also automate adding nodes to specific layers and assigning tags to nodes by setting the properties during our deployment process. The second view is the troubleshooting view. This enables us to visualize and understand the overall health of our Mule applications. We have the option to choose between metrics like failure rate, average response time, and average CPU utilization. And bear in mind, they are updated in real time. Visualizer allows us to perform root cause analysis as it highlights the dependencies of an API and enables us to trace further down to the root of the problem. We can then jump into any point monitoring to perform further troubleshooting as it is seamlessly integrated with any point visualizer. Notice, we also have the option to navigate to the logs of the specific application to perform further troubleshooting. Let us consider an example where the operations team is trying to understand which Mule application is consuming the most memory. As you see, we have the metrics captured in real time and we can jump into any point monitoring for the specific application to understand more about the usage. Another example could be when we are trying to debug an application that has the most failure rates. We can navigate to the logs of the specific application and to understand why the failures are happening. Please note, for average response time, average th throughput and failure rate, we can select inbound or outbound metrics. If we select inbound, the value that appears on the application is the weighted average of that particular metric for all inbound connections to that node. The third visualization is the policy visualization. This enables us to visualize and understand the policies that have been applied to our APIs. Data about which policies have been applied comes from the API manager. We get an overview of the number of policies that have been applied to each API. 
We can also select the policies in the compliance mode to determine the APIs that are compliant with the specific policy. As you can see, you can now easily identify the APIs that are not compliant and you can plan to address them. When we select a node in the graph, we can see the list of policies that are applied for the API. The policies are listed in the order in which they were applied and are identified as either being applied at the API level or as an automated policy. Finally, users with Visualizer Editor permission can create their own views that are discoverable and share it with other team members to provide them with a topological view of the application that are specific to the areas they are responsible for. Hopefully this gave you an idea as to how to use the AnyPoint Visualizer views to address your various use cases. For further reading, please refer to our MuleSoft documentation website. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it was useful in understanding how AnyPoint Visualizer can be used by your various teams to understand the current state architecture, the dependencies between the APIs, perform impact analysis, and ensure best practices are being followed. It is also very useful to quickly pinpoint the root cause of your issues and reduce the mean time taken to address your production issues. Thank you.